to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys we are getting ready to leave this rest area. We're about quarter to six right now. So we're going to put the hammer down and get out of here and try and get as far towards home today as we can make her. Yeah, today and tomorrow we're going to really give her. So let's get on down the road and have ourselves a fantastic day. Thank you guys for joining me today. So let's see what all will happen today. So let's get on. Well guys, I decided to film this a little bit. I don't know how much of it you're gonna be able to see. <clears throat> but this truck ahead of me here, he's got no tail lights, no running lights on the, on the bottom of his trailer. I, try, I tried to get a hold of him there on the CB. He wouldn't answer there at this uh, traffic light. Uh, it was red there so I pulled up beside him and I couldn't quite get to him on time before it changed green so he got going but I was right beside him I hung my arm at him and I was waving at him there and he don't care one little bit he just continues driving I am coming into Tulsa Oklahoma yeah Look at that big city US up there to the right. US 64 East, OK, 51 East, broken out. This right lane up here, right? It says uh, US 75 goes this way. I don't know where it's taking me, but it looks like we're going downtown. Told some. <laughs> I don't think we'll actually go downtown. We'll probably sort of go around like that. Yep, but I go US 75 and that's where it's taking one mile. Me. Keep to the left on US 75 North Bottlesville. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sunrise up there. Yeah, that sun is coming up over there. I suppose I'm supposed to be in the left lane up here somewhere. In order to get to US 75, that's what my GPS is telling me. Supposed to be in the left lane up here in about a three quarters of a mile. I remember, I think I've gone down here one time before and I, I, I remember that's correct. Yeah, here we go. You guys 75 north, you gotta be in the left lane up here. Yeah! Just had to show you guys a little bit of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yep. Just go Give up this US 75 to straight US 75 north, north up to, uh, up to uh, I 29. <sighs> we got up early this morning. We've already been on, uh, on the road for an hour and a half, so. Continue on this road for 82 miles. 82 miles. Follow the GPS, I guess. Well, I always look at the map, anyways. But see if that makes sense, you know. But I do have a trucking GPS, so it's pretty good. Not always 100% right, but it's pretty good. It's up to date. I just updated it recently, and it had a new map update, so it's actually pretty good. Ah, there we go. Now we can see the city again. There, up to the left. Yeah, that's nice. A couple of nice high-rise buildings up there. And anyways, let's continue on and have ourselves an awesome day while we're at it. Standing at his graveside, I see you chiseled in stone. Even though it's spelled right, somehow it seems wrong 
He wasn't a cowboy, he never claimed to be Just an ordinary man, but bigger than life to me Wild Bill wasn't his name But he earned that title in his younger days raising cane And he could pull a gun from his holster Faster than his hero John Wayne Grandpa, Daddy, Wild Bill, one and the same And all he had to say with a sticker on the back of his truck Freedom for him was God, guns, and guts Tough as nails, I guess he thought he had to be But with a shake of his head and a grin, he'd put you at ease Wild Bill wasn't his name But he earned that title in his younger days raising cane he could I'm still cruising along here on US 75 And I think it's almost time to make a pit stop What do you guys think? Is it almost time? I think so I've been driving around uh, here now for about, well, I guess four and a half hours. And we got the TA coming up over here. And I think we're just going to call it a day. I'm going to go pull her in there. Not, uh, we're not going to call it a day. That was wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go pull her in there and uh, we're just going to go and... Uh, I guess we'll just go park somewhere and use the restroom or whatever. Yep. Take a little bit of a break. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Here we go, guys. We just did our little bit of a live show there, and now we gotta get out of here. Yeah. I think that worked out pretty good. I really do think it did work out pretty darn good. I'm happy about it, the way it ended up being. The first try it didn't work, but the second try it did. So we uh, managed to fix that. We had a few people actually joining me. And uh, got that all done with. Now we gotta put the hammer down and try and see how far we can uh, get towards home today, but uh, I enjoy doing a little bit of a life spiel like that, you know? Yeah. I know some people probably didn't get the chance to join the live stream there, but uh, I just decided that the last minute. First I was just gonna do a show and then upload it to YouTube and then I decided, you know what, why not just do a live show, right? And that actually worked out pretty good too. We can talk about the same thing that I would have done on a regular video and plus would have answered a few questions and all that good stuff, right? But, uh, anyways, we're out of here, so uh, we'll see what the rest of the day will bring us today. As I said before, it's actually pretty nice out here, nice and warm. We have to enjoy it since in Canada it's quite a bit cooler according to what my wife said anyways so but let's have ourselves a fantastic day and just keep on cruising and hopefully we can get home tomorrow night well yeah, guys I think it is time to enter Nebraska what do you guys think is it time I think so I think we've been working hard enough to crossing border entering Nebraska Wow, entering Nebraska, eh? Wow, that is amazing. You guys will probably remember me being on this US 75 there uh, last trip when I come up from uh, 
Laredo or Houston, Texas, I guess I should say. I come up there from Houston, Texas and I come up the same exact way. Yes sir, Bob, I did. Except, no, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. On the way down, I think I went down on this highway. That's what it was. On the way down, I came down on this highway. I don't think I came up this way. I think I went further that way. Yes, that's right. Anyways, got that all straightened out now. On the way down, we came up here, so uh, here we go again. We're going that way, so we're going northbound. And we got about 45 miles to go, and then we'll be on that Nebraska Highway 2. US 2 and now I'll take us a couple of miles uh, east and then we will be on I-29 yeah I'm excited finally get onto an interstate mind you this is not a bad road either but uh, we'll be making a pit stop there before we get onto I-29 there just before we get to I-29 there's actually a couple of truck stops there I gotta get some fuel. Yes, I do. I need some fuel. Go go juice. So I'm gonna be fueling up over there. Probably taking me a shower. Yeah, that's the plan, anyways. Take me a shower and continue on with the journey. I guess we still have 730 miles to go till uh, till we get home. So we would like to get at least another 130 miles in. So by the time we get there, it's already less 700, less than 700 miles. So, um, you probably only need to do another hour or hour and a half after we leave that truck stop. We could be done for today and we could still make it home tomorrow. But we'll see how many hours I'll have left once I fuel up over there. And then we'll just drive accordingly. Yes, we will. Oh, huh? here we go. We got a supposedly a scale coming up here. I always look at it like, really? There's supposed to be a scale there? Really, all it is up here is like a pullover area. And I've never seen anybody in there. So I don't know why they call it a scale, but I guess just if they feel like it I guess they could pull you in and of course right here it says way station closed yep and I'm talking about this pullover right here you don't even see a scale there nothing I guess all they could do is uh, maybe the DOTs could come in there and they could have a portable scale but that's all they could have because there really is no scale there <laughs> but that's the way it goes we are having fun. We are really enjoying today. I love going home every time. <laughs> I can go home to my wife and family and kids and everything, you know. I love it. That's, that's when I enjoy trucking. <laughs> going home to the family. <laughs> but no, I do enjoy trucking generally. I really do. I really do and love it. Being out here on the road, getting to see different sceneries. Look at this. We're way up here, way down there. That's where the other guys are. That's where we will be in a minute or two, too. Yep. So here we go, start going down. Anyways, enough of that. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. Well, yeah, guys, this is it. We are pulling into the truck stop here at the pilot which is just uh well i-29 is just over there and we will go get In some fuel feet, turn right on 249 yeah. and then now turn right in 650 feet we really do ahead. need a shower that's how bad the road is turn right <laughs> and then turn right in 650 feet doing? yes the fuel island way is all station ahead up again I know this pilot is really small and it is terrible to get into a fuel island up here. It's really small and a very small truck stop too, so it's kind of hard to get parking in here too. It really is. I don't know where that truck wants to 
go. I guess everybody wants to get fuel. Yeah, it looks like it. But we'll eventually get our fuel, I guess. So we'll cut it and we'll see you guys a little bit later. It is raining, guys. It really is raining. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid of rain over the last couple of weeks here, you know, because my floor has been wet. And this week when I was up there in Louisiana or whatever there, it was raining there. And my, floor, my rug was wet again, and I'm a little afraid of it. I mean, it's not raining hard right now, so I'm gonna see how it is, like uh, tonight when I stop somewhere or whatever, I'll see if my rug will be wet again. Uh, hopefully not, but if it is, we're gonna have to see where the water is seeping in through the truck somewhere, but it is starting to piss me off sometimes, but. We had ourselves a shower there. We fueled up over there at the pilot there a few hours ago already by now. But uh, as we was trying to get out of there, I couldn't get back onto I-29. I-29 was shut down. Well, not I-29 wasn't really shut down, but that Highway 2 that ran up to Highway 29 or I-29. There was a big truck there with one of these uh, propellers for the windmills. He, uh, I guess he forgot to steer or whatever. I don't know what happened, but uh, he sort of ran right across that highway too. And an Asmus blocked the whole highway so we couldn't get on to Southbound or Northbound on I-29. So, so what I ended up having to do was uh, go all the way back to uh, Nebraska to US 75 and take 75 North up to uh, Council Bluff. Iowa there up to I-80 there and then go that across over to I-29 which was not bad it was only a few miles detour but uh, had to take a detour but now it's raining and it's cooled off tremendously actually yeah it was like in the high 20s there earlier and now it's only 19 I can feel it starting to cool off but that's okay Anyways, I figure before the sun goes down completely, I do a little bit of an update video on what we are up to here this afternoon, I guess. We will be stopping here pretty soon, I think. Uh, maybe within the next half an hour or hour or so. Yeah, probably in the next 45 minutes we'll be stopping somewhere, so. So, let's get over there wherever we're stopping and then we'll show close the show. And uh, so we'll see you over there. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. As you can uh, see, we're at the truck stop. Come go, come go. K-U-M and go. I guess that's what they call themselves. Yeah, so we are finished for today, like I said. We uh, maxed out our hours all the way to the 14th hour. I think we had like two minutes to spare when we parked there in here but uh, we only got 522 miles to go and then uh, we'll be home we'll be home sweet home in manitoba canada yeah steinbach manitoba but anyways i figured i uh, close off the show here and i'm just going to go straight back to the truck there in the bunk and i'll uh, put yesterday's video together and then uh Put these files on the computer and I'll just go straight to bed and I'll get up early tomorrow morning and like at five o'clock or something like that and uh, by 5 30 I can do my pre-trip and quarter to six we can be out of here so anyways that's all I got for today and uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did rate it up by giving me a thumbs up and sharing the video and if you're new to our channel hey would you be so kind to hit that subscribe button because you never know what kind of videos we come up with sometimes we have some very interesting videos so uh, if you wouldn't mind doing that hey we would love to have you on board with that have a good one everybody and be sure to stick around for tomorrow at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time we'll see you then Time to
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come 